all right guys what's up um immediately um as you can hear uh it's not toad toad had to work today because you know anime vanguards decided to uh update on sunday at 9 p.m so sadly he has work but um there was an update log i missed i missed it i could read it in a second i did I did record this already, but for some reason it decided not to save. I did summon and immediately get Tengen. He's right here. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple rolls. Try to get like Scholar, max him out, and then we're going to see what the update has to offer. So let's come over here. Tengen. If I pull Monarch, I'll be so, <laughs> I'll be so sad. The goal is to just get a Scholar. Oh my god. My heart just dropped. <laughs> okay. The heart dropped. All right. Um, I mean, that's a decent start. Let's find Tengen. All right. Just like that. He is max level. Let's remove. I guess I'll remove Naruto and then throw on. Where is he? What's his name? Ten gone. <laughs> okay. That's original. I could keep summoning for ascension but we'll do that later let's see okay so immediately we have boss event which is weird oh what is this igris the blood red commander do not assume the position of the king with only that much power oh is this like a challenge traits and traitless so traits are disabled as a master of darkness and unrivaled strategy igris is or igros formidable presence instills terror in all who dare to oppose him as his health wanes, his power intensifies, releasing a chilling scream that stuns all units nearby. Okay, so Chahain might be the best for this, unless one of the new the new units have passives, which I just reminded myself I'll get to in a minute. There's okay, we got an issue. Okay, this is good for people who don't have Igris, but. Everybody else have already grinded for him, so making this a drop is kind of... Okay. Um, so you get trophies. Oh, it's probably like AA where you can like uh, redeem emotes and stuff. And then commander tokens. All right, let's see what this shop is. Raid shop. Okay, okay, so this is what I thought. So you can get... Wait. Is this 99 Evos? So these are all the Evo items. So we have uh, Akaza's Demon Beads. We have Rengoku's Cape. And then we have the Nichirin Cleavers for Tengen. It says 99. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay. First, let's look at Tengen's... I'm going to look at his Evo and his normal. Just so we can see, like, at full potential what he's looking like. Okay. So... Actually, hold on. I should probably do this first. Okay, God of Flashiness. Damage and range plus 10%. Increase dodge chance by 3 with each attack performed. Okay. So, he has a permanent 60% if you build if you build up to it. A 60% chance to dodge, like, stuns and attacks. That's pretty cool. Damage and range, 10%. That's whatever. Now, let's see what he looks like when evoed. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm kind of. <laughs> All right. So it gets 53% damage, string performance. So these are two new moves and a new passive. Rhythm of battle. Damage plus 10%, which each consecutive attack on the same enemy. Reminds me of a certain unit. Um, up to 30%. Okay, that's not that's not actually not terrible. And SPA minus 2%, which. Oh. 30% SPA reduction is actually pretty nuts. That's really good. Okay. I mean, it depends. Let's see. So 40. They changed the UI a little bit. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know since I'm going to be using two accounts right now. I'm not too sure how this is going to go trying to do this event. I might need to get some friends to help out with this. But we, we can attempt this in a second. I'm going to do a quick cut, and I'll be in game in a moment. All right, so before I actually get into the game, let's quickly look at the new codes. 
So the codes are Slayer and up late update. Sorry. So that one gave a thousand gems and two thousand gems. Not the greatest. I would have preferred some rerolls, but I digress. Now we will go in game and see what Tengen's looking like. Okay, so I kind of forgot uh, <laughs> to showcase the the change log. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna switch the screen so you can see it, and we'll read it together. All right, so here are the change logs. So we have a new raid game mode. Fight off powerful enemies in the spider forest. Collect the exclusive Rengoku unit and earn red webs in the all new raids game mode. Okay, so there's raids and then there is the boss thing. So there's two different things. Earn the valuable red webs currency through playing raids and use it to purchase powerful evolution items and trait rerolls and more. Oh, trait rerolls. I, I completely like missed that part. Okay. New boss rush event. Exclusive traitless mode where you fend off against Igris, the Blood Red Commander. 14 days event. It's okay, so two weeks. Okay, so we should expect update one in two weeks. New boss shop. Earn the commander token currency through playing the new boss event and use it to purchase various items such as trait rerolls, stat rerolls, and exclusive Igris emo and more. Okay, we can see that in game in a second. Six new units. Okay, yeah, I noticed that there was like an epic, epic uh, Sakura, uh, legendary, and then I think this is another legendary, and then three mythics or two mythics and a secret. So three Evos. So we have Rengoku, Tengen, and Akaza. Two new achievement categories. Behold my arachnid exterminator battle against... Okay, so these are just titles. We don't really care. Uh, we can check to see if that gives, like, um, anything uh, anything like uh, rerolls and such. New stage info UI. I noticed that. Oh, auto ability. Okay, that's big. Unit manager UI revamp. Okay, that could be cool. Purchase profile backgrounds. That's dope. Emotes. Okay, so this just goes over new profiles. Okay, so there's way more customization. That's pretty cool. Summons. Okay. Wait, being able to deal damage to shielded enemies multiple times. Okay. Being one second instead of two. Okay, that's cool. Oh, they nerfed Igris. Okay, Obito changed the upgrade, which receives his final attack and fixed some stats. And then that is it. All right, so now let's get into the showcase. All right, we're back in game. We're going to quickly look at this shop. Let's run over here. Okay. So you can purchase Fortune Catalyst. Use this cat Using this increases the drop chance for the exclusive unit. Okay, so we'll look at that in a second. Trait rerolls. Is this daily? Or you can only get up to 25 trait rerolls from redeeming these, and they're fairly cheap compared. We got to see how much you get in one run, which actually, let's look right now. Okay, so you get 5 to 10 in the first stage. That's not that bad. That's pretty, that's pretty, pretty generous. And then as for the boss event, you get these commander tokens, which are used here. And you can get 50 trait rerolls. So a total of 75 trait rerolls are obtainable in this update. That's really good. That's actually really good. We got to see how hard is it to get this. Like, uh, oh, 250 for the chair. That's actually kind of crazy. All right. Enough delay. Again, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. This is There's a bunch of stuff and not used to it but let's actually get into the showcase now all right loading in i'm not too sure how this is gonna go i mean raids should be harder than normal but hopefully it's not too hard because again i am playing on two accounts right now so we got to see how this how this looks okay a lot of things have yet to load in Oh, 
everything's just taken forever to load in okay oh wow they added like film green can i turn that off because i i don't like film green is that visual of no that's oh no don't tell me they added that and you can't turn it off okay where are they coming from <laughs> dude this is so okay this is off to a terrible start okay it they come out over here wait what guys i'm i'm lost where this map is massive oh my god <laughs> why is it so big Okay, we'll place Kizaru down over here. Okay, let's place Tengen down. Let's see how his early hold is. Wow, he's doing 1.5k on placement. He does have Deadeye, so he will be doing a bit more than that. But these stats aren't terrible. He's getting a range and damage increase immediately. And building that dodge chance, which we don't really care for right now. Okay, this isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So, oh, wow. This is... Okay. Okay. This is so much better than what it used to be. This is actually... I love this change. I love this change so much. Okay, so we're going to max out the farms real quick, and then I'm going to cut to when I'm actually able to upgrade the unit. All right, so we just got... We have enough money now. We're going to max out Tengen. Let's see his moves. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade him once because they are leaking a little. Okay, so his first move... What is that? Okay, so he just does a slam. That's kind of... Kind of whatever okay so he, he becomes cone so he becomes cone really oh that's it okay this is on evo so again he's not gonna look that strong but he will be when he's evo we do know he's full aoe from the trailer but his he's okay i mean i wasn't expecting too much but his damage is kind of like lower than I expected. Um, even even if he was evolved, he'd still be like 1600 extra damage. So, eh, roughly 5k. But, I mean, I don't know. At least for me, the attack effects are kind of like whatever. Probably because I need to remove this guy. But, well, that's about it um he's okay i mean he's on evo we'll see how he looks when he's evo so we got to do some grinding for that but i will get the next two showcases or well the next one rengoku you have to farm for um so akaza's next i hope you guys enjoyed and as toad would say reese's pieces bye